Hi everyone, this is a free lecture from my Fast Rigging and Animation Techniques course. You can get the full course on Udemy by clicking on the link in the description. It's only $10 and I hope you enjoy the free lesson. In this lesson we're going to take a custom rig, this Dobby rig, and we're going to apply motion capture to it. So you can do this with your own rigs as well, as long as you apply the same principles. So I've gone to joel3d.com and we can download this rig here. This rig is by Joel Anderson and it's been modelled by Julian Johnson Mortimer and you can donate here if you want to and you can see that it's a really nice rig with lots of controls and it's got textures there as well. So I've already downloaded that and it's in my downloads folder. So I'll double click to unzip that. This is on a Mac and I've got my folder there. So if I go inside there, there's going to be a scenes folder and a source images folder. So I'm just going to copy this, right click copy and I'm going to create a new project in Maya and I'm going to put these files in the project so let's just go over to Maya and I'm going to go to file project window and go to new I'm going to create it on the desktop call that Dobby as a project and say accept okay so now I should have some folder there on the desktop so I'm going to go to the desktop and go to my folder here and once I'm inside the folder, I'm going to paste this inside the folder. And it's going to ask me if I want to merge these. I'm going to say apply to all, merge all of them. So now we've got in the scenes, we've got the Dobby file. And in source images, we've got the textures. I'm just going to go into that Dobby source images folder and just select all of these and just drag them into the source images folder just so that it finds all those textures otherwise we'll have to use the file path editor to repath these so I'm going to open up the file now so go to open and you can see it opens in the scenes directory and there's your file there I'm going to open it up so there's the rig and you can see it's found the textures most of the textures apart from the head here so if I just select the geometry there go to the attribute editor and go over to the right click on the face shader here and click on the color over here it's looking for a texture called face color and the actual texture is called face color one here TGA so Dobby face color one TGA open you don't need to do this it just looks nicer in the viewport of course so there we go and his loincloth is just a Lambert there that's fine so I'm just going to save this so that we can come back to it in case we need to so I'm going to save this as to something else so start just in case we do have to so this is a standard kind of rig where you've got a group here and inside the group you find a group with the geometry so this is just the geometry there if I hold down shift I can expand that entire thing there so you can see it's the geometry I've got my shaders showing so I can just turn that off just to make things less complicated and I've also got this extra rigging group here, which is for the facial rigging and some other bits and bobs. So this main section is the controls. So motion system is the controls and inside group is the deformation system. So the deformation system is basically the skeleton. So you can see it's highlighting there. It's the main skeleton that the object has been skinned to. So skinning is when you attach your object to the skeleton. So that's been attached to this deformation system. Okay, so if I were to isolate this, just move this out of the way. If I was to isolate this using this button here, you can see that's the skeleton that it's been skinned to. Okay, so now what we have to do is we have to tell Maya we're going to use the human IK system. And in the human IK system, we have to tell Maya what the skeleton is and what each body part is. And then we have to tell Maya the different controls. So if you look at the controls here, you can see these curves here are the controls. So the usual convention in Maya is to use curves as controls. So you can go to show none and then show curves and polygons and now you've got only your controls there so what you need to do is you need to make sure that this is in a T pose you do need to make sure that this is in a T pose so if I were to look on the top here you can see that the arms are bent there so you don't want that so what you want to do is just rotate this and make it straight so I'll just go to the top view here just so I can see this a bit better
Okay, so now we've got those straight, what we can do, so those are all straight now in the T-pose. So what we can do now is define the skeleton and then define our custom control rig. So let's go to the human IK button here, so we get this window here, and I'm going to click on cut, create custom rig mapping, and it says do you want to define a skeleton? Yes, we say yes, we want to define a skeleton, go to the definition tab here, so this is asking you where these bits of the skeleton are. Once this goes green or yellow, it means you're ready to go. So let's just get rid of the show NURBS curves, get rid of those, and we're going to bring up the joints here. So we need that skeleton. And there's a couple of skeletons showing there, so what we need to do is just show the deformation one. So if we just click on here, and I'm just going to click and drag, and so I've got this geometry as well, and then I can isolate that. Okay, so now I've just got the skeleton and the geometry. In case you're not seeing the skeleton, it's because I've got the the X-ray joints button pressed, so that will draw the joints on top there, which is very handy. So now I just double click here, and then click on the arm, double click the forearm, click on the elbow there, double click on the hand, and then click on the hand there. If you get it wrong, you can always double click again, and try it again. It, what it's going to do is going to try and match up the name and it's going to match up the other side so just check that if you click on it it's going to select that bone so just make sure that it's picked the right thing so it's done a good job there we need to select this guy so I'm just going to right click and say assign that's another way of doing it so you can double click and select the head here then we'll go to the hips I'm just going to go to select mode so it's a little bit easier, so my manipulator doesn't get in the way. Double click. Okay, and the one above there, with the spine one, we need as well, so double click that. Okay, so we've done the basic bones, but we can go ahead and do these extra bones as well, and it will give us a better result. So let's do these. So I'm just going to do the feet, so I'm going to click on this little arrow here double click here and grab that and it's gone green on the other side so it's done that as well I'm going to just do the clavicles here so I'm going to go inside here and just do this shoulder here so grab that and should have found the other side good and then we'll do the spine here so double click here and so we've done this one this one and so we do this one always start at the bottom here otherwise it's going to give you an error so click on here even though it looks weird it will know what you're doing so just double click that and pick that one okay so these ones are neck joints so we need to go to the next section so we just go in here and then we'll double click on the bottom of the neck and just work our way up That's it. Okay, so that's pretty much done, yeah. And it's gone green there, so there's no problems. That's because we've straightened these arms out and they're parallel with the X direction. If they're not, if this goes yellow, it means that your arms aren't straight, so you might need to straighten them out. Sometimes people rig their characters with their arms down halfway in between here, and what you need to do is straighten that up before you go into this characterization process so that you don't get any problems. So now we select the control rig, so we go to show, bring up the curves and and we're in isolate mode so I'll just turn that off okay and then I'm going to click on the main control here which is the top level node and then I'm going to click on this create custom rig and that's better Okay, so there we go. And so now we have this new window here, which is the custom rig. So now we have to tell Maya which controls we have for our custom rig. So it's pretty straightforward. Let's just make this less complicated by going into the joints and just hiding those joints. Okay, so let's start off with the leg. We're going to grab the leg. Or we'll double click this and then click on this. It doesn't seem to do the double click, so I'm just going to select this and then right click and assign selected. Okay, so that's the leg, and that's an IK leg, so it means that if I move this around, it should move around. So there you go. And I'll just undo that. 
So we need the hip control, so we'll just grab this hip control and right click and assign effector. And let's do the other side. Assign. And while you're doing these, you need to set whether they can move or rotate. So these two are fine. So if you click on one, you can select whether it can move or rotate, so what type of control it is. These can move and rotate, so that's fine. And then this hip also can move and rotate, that's fine. These controls here are FK controls, so we need to adjust those when we select those. So let's grab the chest here, right click and assign. And you can see there that it's allowing it to move when we don't want it to move, so we'll turn that off. And then we'll do the same for the head here. This is the head control. Just make sure that you know what, what the controls do in the rig so that you can select the appropriate control. And then we'll go down to the arm. So I'm going to click the clavicle here. Select the shoulder. Elbow. And then hand. Okay, so all of these it's allowing it to move, so I'm not going to allow it to move. Click on that, don't want it to move, and that's fine. So in your in your controls, if you had IK on, so you do get IK FK arms, so in that case you just select the appropriate thing. So you might just have one thing on the bottom here uh, the for the hand, and then you, you would allow it to move and rotate. But in this case, this is on FK mode, so it's I'm going to leave that on rotation. Just check this control here, that's fine. Okay, so just do the other side. Sign, sign, okay, and let's just go into here and grab some of these controls here. So click, click on this and then the sign, this one, sign, and this one we've already done. Okay, there is a neck control there as well, so I'll just grab that. Always start at the bottom. Okay, I think that's pretty much it. Just make sure that these can only rotate. Yep, that's fine. And I don't want this one to move. So let me move that, change that. So now that we've defined our custom rig, we can load in something to be controlled by this. So what we can do is load into motion capture and see if this works. So let's do this now. Let's go to, so I'm just going to use a built-in clip that's already with Maya. So I'm going to click on this little character here and say none so that this window comes up again. And then I'm going to say import animation example. And that's going to bring in a default animation example, which is a fight scene. So if I just press play, you can see that the animation is there. Okay, so we want that to be applied to our little Dobby character. So what we can do is just simply select that character. You can see there's a new character here called Dummy Fight. And so we don't want to control that. We want this other guy, character one. We should really rename this so we can go to rename character and rename that. But for now, I'm just going to take the source and choose Dummy Fight. So this source will pick what controls the Dobby character. So I'm going to click on dummy fight and that should be now controlled by that so I'm just going to hide this dummy fight here press H to hide it and then let's just have a look at this just get rid of all this stuff so get rid of the curves and then let's give it a play okay so you can see it works pretty well so it's looking pretty good Okay, so let's close his hands because we haven't put any controls on his hands, so we can actually just use our regular rig to close his hands. So I'm just going to do that now to stop this. And I'm going to just show the curves here. And this yellow control here has got the hand controls on it. Okay, so let's use these controls here. And I'm going to just use my middle mouse button and just close those up. Maybe the thumb is a little bit less. OK, 
okay and do the same on this side grab these guys okay and let's have a look at that what that looks like If you want to speed up the playback, you can try isolating the geometry. So I'm going to select the geometry. Just going to grab the geometry group here. It's easier. And then go to isolate, maximize this. And let's just rewind and play. So if we wanted to bake this into keyframes onto your rig, so you would go here, go to bake, and then bake to custom rig. And this is the standard baking controls, and you click on bake. It's going to go through and bake keyframes onto all of the controls on your that you've defined here. And then you can adjust them using animation layers to animate on top of this.